In this video, we are going to understand Trans-Siberian Railway. It is the longest railway in the world. It was built between 1891 and 1916 to connect Moscow with the Far East city of Vladivostok. Now these are the respective cities that this railway passes through. And it is also one of the most important route in Asia. And the entire length of this railways is around 9332 kilometers and it's a double tracked and electrified transcontinental railway in the world. So because of this railway line, it has opened up the Asian region to the West European markets because it runs across the Ural mountains. Now there are these three important terminals of the Trans-Siberian Railway. They are Moscow, Beijing and Vladivostok. Now the reason I say these three places are important because a lot of the other connecting train routes can be connected through these terminals. Like for example, Moscow can be reached by train from anywhere in Europe. So people from London, Paris, Amsterdam, Berlin, Warsaw. So places like these are nicely connected to Moscow through train routes. And then if you look at the Asian region, a lot of the places like Hong Kong, Guangzhou, then Lhasa in Tibet, Bangkok, all these places can be connected to the Beijing terminal through rail routes. And then we have other modes of transport like ferries and buses. Now if you look at the far eastern end of this Trans-Siberian Railway, the end station is Vladivostok. So from Vladivostok, ferries are available to visit Fushiki, Japan and the city of Incheon and Dongae in South Korea. So the whole point is that when you look at this Trans-Siberian Railway from the world map point of view, it looks like this giant rail map that is connecting continents, that is the Europe with the East and Southeast Asia which is kind of mind-boggling considering the fact that the potential of the railways was at its prime level during the late 19th and the early 20th century. So, this is all you had to know about the longest railway in the world, the Trans-Siberian Railway. If you want to see more of such educational content, make sure you're subscribed. By doing so, you'll get an alert when my next video comes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.